Paymetrics Receivables Management for SAP solution is comprised of three custom transactions which process payments directly in the financials module. Two of them, OpenAR and AutoAR, allow for payments against open receivable items which were originally billed on payment terms. The third, DirectAR, allows you to accept a payment directly against an electronic method of payment and have that post as an open credit against the customer's account rather than directly against any specific open receivable. OpenAR allows one of your customer service reps to pull up a list of all the open items for a particular customer, choose one or more, and process a payment directly against the selected items. Here we're selecting one item and choosing a Visa card from off the customer's account and processing a payment against it. This will go ahead and clear that receivable item, refresh the list, show that it's no longer open, and display the clearing document that's been posted. And when you exit, you see a result report indicating here are the items that have been processed, the original open amount and the amount of payment applied, some of the authorization response details, and then the clearing document which shows that the receivable has been cleared from the customer's AR account and posted into the generic Visa MasterCard receivable account where it will be picked up in the next settlement run. Going back to the receivables management menu, we could choose the auto AR solution. This is intended to be run as a scheduled job on a daily basis, either once or more per day and allows for the automated processing of payments on multiple customers' accounts. So in this case, if I were to go in and say, let's have a look and see what open items exist for the customers within this number range, and I execute, you'll see that we have a list of multiple open items. In this case, several for customer 11,000, and then others that have been located for customers 11,001 and 11,002. I'm going to back up and choose a different variant to execute this with. And we're going to process only those payments for these customers where the payment terms on those documents are ZB07. When I execute, you'll notice that we find one open item for each of the customers. What would happen is you would schedule your job to run again either once or multiple times per day and payment terms are a very common way to differentiate and discover which open items you wish to try and automate the payment against. The common scenario here would be perhaps that each of these items is on a billing plan and maybe it's the first of the month the payment for the next billing term is due so you would execute the auto AR program and each of these items representing the next month or terms billing for that customer would be found and Auto AR would then try and process the payment automatically using the card that's identified for that customer and in our case we're going to use whatever card is marked as the default card on that customer's master record. So I'll go ahead and select each of these items. We'll pretend that the program had already done this for us automatically and then tell it to authorize the payment. For customer 11,000, for this first open item, we can see that a Visa card ending in 1111 has been found on the customer's master record, and the system will use that to process the payment. We can see that the response is that it's been approved. As we move on, the next document that's found and customer that's identified, a Visa card ending in 3333, is identified. So we'll go ahead and use that to process the payment. Again, we're going to simulate an approval. 
However, you'll notice that once we've executed those two payments, one of the documents remains. If we back out, we can see that one of the items was not processed, and that's because no card for use has been determined. In fact, on customer 11001, there is not a default card listed on the customer master record, and therefore we were unable to process payment. But for customers 11,000 and 11,002, we were able to find a default card on file and successfully process and clear those items with the cards on file. So that's a good example of how the Auto AR program can be used to automate payment against open receivables on customers' accounts. The last transaction is Direct AR. This transaction allows us to type in a customer's account number the company code and currency for which we wish to process payments, and then rather than identifying an open item or multiple open items, we would simply enter the amount of payment that we wish to process against that customer's card. You can see that we've defaulted in the preferred card from the customer's master record. I'll enter a CVV value, and then we'll process that authorization online. You can see that we've simulated a response of approval for $250. And when we continue, the result report shows us the authorization has been processed successfully, some of the approval details that we had seen previously. And again, when we look at the clearing document, we can see that a credit has been posted against the customer's AR account. And this is an open credit not yet associated with any particular invoice. It can be associated with one later and that has been shifted into the Visa MasterCard receivable again so that it will be picked up in the next settlement run. So these three transactions, OpenAR, AutoAR, and DirectAR, enable customers to process payments directly in SAP's financial module with a credit card, in some cases, as in OpenAR and AutoAR, against open invoices that were previously posted with payment terms, and in the case of direct AR with just a direct payment resulting in an open credit on a customer's account that can be applied to any open invoice in the future.